What's up? We are now at Gold's Gym, and today we're doing a collab with uh, a couple of different people. Firstly, oh, Mallory's here. Come with her. <laughs> this is Mel. Hi. We did a podcast together the other night. It will be out in December. So you're training what today? Upper body. Okay, I am too. Perfect. Okay, great. Yay, so we're doing that. And then uh, Nimai Delgado is coming. We're going to do a podcast today together, but we're also going to work out, get some good vegan food today, and just crush it here. So, you ready? <laughs> Traffic, right? All right, guys. We have our special We're guests special here guys. today. This is Nimai and Bianca. What's up, guys? Both uh, <laughs> vegan bodybuilders, but just like awesome friends. Yeah. You don't just have to be labeled that. But yeah. we're gonna all work out today. And That's Russell's nice. here. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> well, we're all just gonna get to our workouts. Yeah. Finally. Are we doing back today. Traffic. Yeah. Like you're about to do back. Yeah. 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 Good. You said mucho. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is a Mexican bowl that has black beans, guac, pico, cashew cheese, romaine, rice, and quinoa. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. I got a kombucha, it's called the Gutsy. Uh, by the way, we're at Cafe Gratitude. All of the meals are, how would you call it? They're, they're, um, they say how you feel. So, like, magical, gutsy. I got the um, devoted bowl. And all of this food here is all plant-based, all vegan, it's really delicious. And we also got a juice one's glowing. So it has uh, pineapple, ginger, and pear. So it's like anti-inflammatory. Yeah, right. So it's like my morning ritual every day. I love kombucha so much. Thank you. Can you bring mine in? Yes, I have Yummy. Oh, hot sauce, yeah. Is it? No. Okay, so we are at Cafe Gratitude, one of our, one of our favorite places. I got the humble bowl, which is like, it has like curry, lentil, tomato in it. And it smells so good. It does. Amanda, what did you get? You got the devoted bowl, so there's 10 packets. Yeah, the burger's really good too. <laughs> Sit, paw, good boy. Yeah, good baby. Aww. I just love him so much. I can't. You are smart, man. I've been wanting a dog. You are so like smart. The longest so smart. time. We took our time oh. in getting one, but he's just. Oh, he's perfect. You are perfect. You are just perfect. Oh, I love you. Oh, no, I was going to bite him. I love you. You can't have the microphone. No. No. Okay. 
What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Bucci Radio. Today's special guest is Nimai Delgado. So Nimai is a he is a newly found fitness coach. He just quit his job and went full time fitness coach. Um, you're on Instagram, you're on YouTube, and he is a whole entire life vegetarian. So he's never had meat. He grew up like that. He's like the opposite. I would say that you're the opposite of a bandwagoner. You're definitely yeah. not. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. So many people are like adopting this lifestyle now because it's becoming trendy and more right. mainstream. But you and grew up like that. Yeah, which yeah is cool. I've, been, I've been this way my whole life. So Yeah, yeah. So we're uh, here to talk to Nimai today all about veganism because um, obviously it's really trendy, but it's something that you really care about and it's something that your lifestyle is and you're passionate about it and you want to share that message. And I think it's really interesting too. I've had a, a interest over the last few months about switching and being more plant-based and it's just really interesting to a lot of people. I had a very, I was born in Mississippi, so the deep, deep, the deep south, south, the deepest you could go. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I grew up in a bit of like a unique culture because both of my parents are Hindu, so they converted oh. from Catholicism to Hinduism when they were in their early 20s. Oh, that's so interesting. So that's why my name is Nimai, it's a, a Sanskrit word that means uh, the light from within. That's awesome. Um, but we're part of Hinduism is the, is like the concept of ahimsa, which basically means you live a life of non-violence. So that also translates down to the food you consume, every action you do in life. It has, you know, an equal and opposite reaction, the law of karma, right? Uh -huh. So yeah. uh, with that concept of ahimsa and the non-violence, it also boils down to like what you eat, right? Right. So for an animal to end up on your plate, it has to be basically killed and in that whole process, the animal's suffering, it's terrified, it's fearful. So by eating that... So to continue on with this just veggie lifestyle video, Nehemiah was really awesome on the podcast, by the way. He said so many amazing things that really, really inspired me in like a different way. So excited about that. We are gonna have um, a black bean burger. I'm making some for Brian. He is on his way home from the gym. Veggies um, or veggie tots because these are delicious and I don't care if they're childish, they are so good. Um, quinoa, gonna make some quinoa and I have spinach. We are gonna go to Sweet Green because we love Sweet Green and it's like our new love of, um, holy crap, just amazingness. Oh, there's already, oh, Brian put these black bean burgers in the fridge because he already had them maybe. Anyway, I don't have to unfreeze them, but we were gonna go to Sweet Green because it's just our new love, but I was like, we have so much good food in the house, so let's cook. guys so this is gonna be dinner this has about 20 grams of protein in it I believe quinoa has a little protein in it veggies are veggies um, there's probably like slight bit of protein in there and this is dinner Brian gets two and his portion sizes are slightly bigger but not that much <laughs> PS I've cooked two videos in a row Yay! actually you cooked in the last video but we cooked dinner two videos in a row I hope you guys are, are happy about that cuz I am so Let's eat. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Looks so good, man. Thanks. I worked really hard. Hey, up. Oh. This is their first time meeting. Vinny the Frenchie and Cooper the good dog. <laughs> Follow them on Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> like how we used to use each other's Instagram. <laughs> CH Fitness. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Remember the day? Which is fitness or fit? Oh. Fit. Was... Just fit. We've grown up. Yeah. Hi, Emily. Hello. Aw. So we're socializing our dogs, and they're both puppies. Oh, did you steal his toy? Oh, boy. Cooper got so big. Look at how small Vinny is compared to him. Oh, my God. He's so funny. I know. They're so funny to watch together. This is the best. 
This is literal so much better than like getting this... together for a movie. Oh my god. Like we get to watch our children play. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. Who needs Netflix when you can just watch this? Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is literally amazing. Oh my goodness. We tired him out. So excited. We just got back from Emily's house and we met Vinny. He was the cutest. They had fun. They played. They socialized. They made friends. They bit each other a little bit, but in like a nice puppy way. So it was awesome. And winding down the end of the night. Thursdays, I like to have my day as like an off day. I worked this morning a little bit, but I really like having two full days off a week and I don't take Sundays off because I have my coaching calls on Sundays and I really like working on Sundays because nobody else is and it's quiet and I feel like Thursdays are like a middle of the week. Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm like slammed and then Thursdays, I'm like, okay, I need this day off-ish and it was really nice. The beach was just the best. I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram story, but the beach was just beautiful. I had 30 minutes in between my workout and my hair appointment and I just went to the beach and relaxed and it was beautiful because I needed some just quiet time and just it was beautiful so yeah that's that. Cooper is eating and Chase is here and we just finished working out didn't show you guys the workout because there was a workout earlier in this video but we're headed to the promenade in Santa Monica because we have to go get some Christmas presents go Christmas shopping going to try not to buy anything for myself, but I do have to shop for my sister and my mother and um, potentially some other people. I have to fly across the country, so I don't want to get too much stuff right now. Difficulties of having family on the other side of the country, you have to pack all of your gifts in your suitcase to get them over there, unless you like buy them here and then ship them there in a box. But either way, uh, we're gonna go do a little Christmas shopping because it's Saturday, which means it's off day, which means off day from work, which means relax day and just like Amanda day and focus on relaxing, chilling. I'm vlogging because you know, it feels great. I got my hair done. If you guys noticed, it's not as orange. It's like got some more rich chocolatey in it, but it's still got some lighter colors towards the bottom. Hi, baby. Did you have a good lunch? Did you have a good lunch? So we're gonna show you guys what our lunch is gonna be. This video themed is uh, vegan meals. So we're gonna have another vegan lunch. Unfocus on Chase and focus on this beautiful sunset. Oh my goodness. Chase is okay too, Getting I suppose. Decent at best. Yes. If I go up, then we can see you. Kind of. Yeah. Here we go. Key big bowl of hummus, veggies, tortilla chips. There's falafel and chickpeas in here, and I forget what else I put. And Brian has his bowl, Chase has his bowl. Free shopping dinner. I have a question for you guys. I asked my Instagram this and they were not helpful at all. You Instagram people, I don't know why you were terribly unhelpful, but I'm just kidding. There's no right answer to this question. There is no right answer. The only right answer is the one that I feel in my heart is the right answer. And that question is, should I make a separate YouTube channel for my business, entrepreneurship, social media, like just tip videos and helpful informational videos that have to do with that directly. And the only reason that I ask is because I haven't done that in the last maybe six, seven months or so. Hey Coop, sit, sit. Good boy. That's good. 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 To me, when I look at my channel, I feel unclear. I feel like some of you think it's unclear. Some of you don't care. Some of you like both of them on the channel. Some of you despise it. To me, it feels just a little unclear because a lot of you guys came here for just fitness stuff for that particular reason, and that's it. And to me, I would feel more excited and more clear on everything if I separated out the informational entrepreneurship stuff. Not necessarily vlogs, like this channel would say vlog stuff, fitness stuff, basically how it kind of always is. And I wouldn't completely avoid talking about my business stuff and updates and all that stuff. I would do like vlog updates on it, but just strictly, I guess, informational stuff would be on a different channel. Comment below and like the video if you are, are interested in that kind of thing. I already kind of have my answer in my head, but 
I want to hear your opinion before we do that. So there's that. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video, which is already halfway filmed. I'm on a roll with videos in the next few weeks, and I have a Q&A coming up in the video after that, so stay tuned for that. And that's going to go ahead and wrap up the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys soon.